it's a continuation of the water theme again tonight. I'm on a bit of a roll this week, so we're going to try and put out a few vlogs this week. Uh, people sort of uh, like me chanting uh, about motorhome life and all the rest of it that goes with it. And uh, just to continue from last night, um, the shower situation um and uh, a few people uh one of our good old time subscribers brian um he was saying we often use a shower on our rapido uh when we're driving we do store silver screen and laundry bag in it um although nothing too heavy or bulky but i can understand that when you maybe get on the site you can shut the silver screen on it's empty uh, our water tank is 120 liters we usually travel with about 75 liters um so exactly for the reason you mentioned uh, no stress in airs camping parks uh when you first arrive you don't need to worry about uh filling up water so thanks for that brian um and other stuff he keeps in the garage uh yeah okay so that's uh, that one um the second one i had was from lindsay and mike and uh lindsay was actually she's she's one of the subscribers that actually um love you doing your vlogs joff and uh, we find we that we learn so much from your vlogs and thanks a lot for that lindsay it may, means a, a a lot really and uh, obviously we just put this out to save people a lot of like time and effort um, just through our own personal experience. I've got something to actually show you guys in a minute uh, from one of my early inventions of camper van life. Um, so anyway, uh, when you so quickly when you first arrive on site. Uh, and fill the Trumer boiler and get the hot water to the pipes. Right then, Lindsay, I don't know whether you've had kind of like an issue, possibly where the system is drained down, um, the frost, maybe the frost protection valve has kicked in and emptied your boiler. Uh, so you do, if the, if the boiler is emptied and you reset the frost protection, it does take um, a little while for it to prime back through the boiler and back through all the pipes so i reckon that is probably um uh, we had uh, so what is she saying here whether it was due to not being completely level uh, nothing to do with um, being level and nothing like that um, Lindsay it's just i think it's just the fact that um it's emptied out and uh, you uh, just refilling it um, when we've had the frost protection kick in on this we do get lots of spluttering we do not drain down we we're kind of like um all year round motorhomers you know that so we can kind of do our best occasionally if the temperature does uh, really kick in where it's super cold it will drain off so um watch out for that one um so gareth said we love the shower in our van use it all the time uh, we are on our third motorhome and i've really only just started using the shower um it's great so people a um, few different ideas uh, that which is fantastic and i'm just going to show you this little device that i made um quite a few years ago now um i don't actually carry it anymore with me um, but i'll just show you what it's all about so in the previous motorhome that we had the roller team it had one of these um sure flow pumps in it and uh, we were always a bit sort of like uh, they did give a little bit of um issues um and anyway we were always sort of like right it'd be a, probably a good idea to actually take one of these um pumps with us uh, just in case we get any issues with the pump if your pump packs up you know it's it's quite a um bit of a bit of a stressful thing trying to get your hands on these these things especially um you know something a, like like this kind of pump um anyway what happened uh, i ended up sourcing a pump and i thought well if i can utilize it for someone else as well as um for the reason of carrying it as well it would probably be a good thing so i utilized um a little plastic bin with a couple of um pipes so obviously there's an in and an outlet um and i've uh put in this little euro socket so i can power it up um let's just turn it around and uh, there is the little uh, euro plug socket and then what we 
I had was, um, which I made up, was a lead that would plug in to this um, device, and uh, then I could plug into a cigarette lighter and. Uh, basically um, fill my water tank. It, it was, where did I used to fill the water tank? On the road team, I can't even remember now, it's been a long time ago. But so what I used to, it was um, one of those things where trying to um, put in 20 litres of water um, as well, was always a little bit, you know, it's always like a, a, a big weight. You're trying to tip this. It might have been in the uh, really hot sun. You're trying to tip this in. Um, so I ended up with the, one of these little tiny um, stools that we used to take as well. Uh, well, these little... Um, what do they call them? <laughs> One of them, like a little step. It's a little step, Joffrey, really, isn't it? So it just gives you, it folds away so it goes flat. So uh, I made the um, the tap into a uh, little hose connector. So then I could basically feed from this one into the pump unit. And then another one would be firing it into my water tank so it was literally a case of just uh, sitting the water on the little step and uh, pumping the water back it you know back into the just topping up the motor home so it was quite a uh, a lucrative device in its day anybody uh, <laughs> so um, yeah just uh, just 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 one of them really um, I used to keep all the um, hose connectors in the in the base of this and uh, and it, it's all uh, the pump is actually rubber mounted there's some little um, rubbers in there so it was all like rubber mounted um, but um, yeah still still good to go anyway as as time moved on it got to the stage where it was like, am I gonna, how many times have I used it? Uh, and what I tend to use now is um, some like longer lengths of hose and we've not really had any issues. So that is the reason I don't, I don't take it anymore. Obviously the pump is no good for this personer. Uh, that just reminds me actually, we keep talking about sourcing a um, water pump um, to take in this one. So, which is, is something I've overlooked a little bit, really. Just so doing these little talks, I, I sort of sometimes uh, remind myself. Um, so, probably uh, we spend a lot of time in Germany, so it probably I'm, I'm gonna have to keep my eye out and I um, get a little pump maybe when I'm uh, at one of the camper shops in Germany. But uh, we'll hopefully, fingers crossed, it won't back up. Um, but anyway, we'll see how things pan out. But anyway, this device became kind of like redundant for me um, so we just snap the hoses together keep the water topped up uh, was I gonna make this 10 minute video tonight I was but I forgot to put my timer on so I'm just gonna tell you tell you a little bit more information what I'm up to I've been really super busy earlier on and uh, we have been completely clearing our motorhome out um, it's uh, we've we've taken a fair bit out now. Uh, we're going to have another wave tomorrow. I'm not going to um, just going to ni nicely take it out all the stuff and uh, habitations check coming up um, a week on Friday. So um, we like to completely. Uh, empty the motor home and then it's a, 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 a real fresh start again uh, we all, uh, in fact we've just I've just been sort of doing all around the kitchen um, the cupboards and stuff and uh, I just literally said to Caroline um, we've been carrying these tea bags around for um, God knows how long and we have not um, had any cups of tea so I think we're going to leave the tea bags um, out on this one um, but like I say that's how um, crazy it is you start carrying this stuff around and uh, so by doing this big empty it out it makes it easier for the dealer to um, to have a you know get in all the cupboards and damp meter and all the all the checks and stuff so when there's no not too much debris it makes it so much easier for them so that's what we're up to at the moment so it's going to be a full-on um, empty empty out, vacuum, clean everything down once again and uh, then um, we then are getting close because today I've actually pushed the button. Um, I'm going to show you, hang on, let me just get my phone. What am I going to tag in here? I need to tag in a couple of pictures um, of bookings. So the shuttle the shuttle Eurotunnel just into September 
okay so all the olympics are going to be done and dusted the school holidays are all coming to an end the prices start dropping off rapidly but um euro tunnel one way still want 209 pounds for their crossing le shuttle um i've just booked dfds same time uh 114 one way uh the other one was one way as well it was a one way trip um whether it be on the euro tunnel or the ferry so we are actually going on the dfds ferry it's an hour and a half it's dover to calais and uh one and a half hours 114 which we thought was um pretty good value for money we are literally saving there uh it's going to be it's good it's um just shy of a hundred pounds a hundred pounds saving between the euro tunnel and uh so 55 minutes um longer and uh, we are going to be saving just shy of 100 pounds that is a fair bit of whitley neal gin um and even more saving with the duty free so i'm going to leave this video there appreciate the comments we're getting through on the water situation things like that please leave me more comments because it gives me more um uh, well just infor more more information to um fire out the people uh newbie people with motor homes and uh trying to sort of like pass on that valuable information to all you guys so i'm going to leave the video there thanks for watching this one and we will try and keep you posted on what's going on all this week.